Normally this time of year, we would be packing suitcases, planning outfits and getting ready to head to whatever destination we're heading to for the national convention. But I'm kind of sad this year because it's not happening. The suitcases are still in the closet. Guess what, you know what, I'm sad I'm not gonna see the, the people dressed in their Sunday best for Sunday morning, seeing the bishops lead us in worship, seeing from the Congress standpoint, the young people singing praises to God, seeing them participate in various contests. I'm going to miss uh, even Sister Cherry telling me what I'm doing is wrong and me saying, oh, my bad. And I'm gonna miss that lady from Chicago who every Saturday night tells me my sermon could have been a a little bit better and shorter but even though I am sad about these things I'm excited about other things I'm glad to see such innovation in churches I'm glad to hear of zoom sessions that are being attended by tens and twenties and thirties and hundreds of people I am just excited that people are still pressing on and doing what they have to do to go as our theme has called us to do. What am I telling you? Today, I am simply saying thank you. I want to thank every Sunday school teacher who has still persevered, who learned Zoom, who learned WebEx. I'm thanking every young person who is trying to help their church come up with the digital revolution. I am thankful for every pastor who's engaged their young adults, engaged their children, trying their very best to keep the church together. I just simply want to say thank you. Your work is being appreciated. Pastors who've taken your services outside, thank you. Pastors who are doing live stream, thank you. And I am saying keep at it. The Congress said from the very beginning, we are geared to the times. And I am seeing from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast that we are living true to our creed, geared to the times, yet anchored in the rock. So what am I asking you to do? And here's the thing. Very simply, keep engaging. Keep engaging your young people. They know all this technology. They know the tools. They know the websites. Allow them to take control of the video streaming. Allow them the space to make it the best it can be. Allow them to give you their ideas. Engage them. Engage them. And second thing I'm asking you to do is to continue innovating. Church is going to be different even when we return. Think of new ways we can do our programming. Think of new ideas during this season that we can gain and draw more young people. Invite people in through your live stream, things of that nature. Be innovative, so don't just engage, but also innovate. Try to change things. Don't just wait for things to go back. Shoot forward, we press toward the mark. And the last thing, in courage. Don't forget about those people who are really feeling lonely during this time of social distancing. Keep encouraging people. Keep calling church members. Keep reaching out to young adults. Keep reaching out to teenagers. Keep reaching out to children. Keep providing them with sermons to listen to online. Keep providing them with videos to watch. Just keep encouraging your people. 2021 is slated that we'll be in Houston, well, Sugarland, Texas, Houston, Texas. And trust me, I cannot wait to see all of you then. But until then, keep engaging, keep innovating, keep encouraging. And lastly, I want to say thank you. Keep up the great work. I am so glad to say that the Congress is geared to the times, yet still anchored in the rock. <laughs>